And here he comes, folks. One of the most respected referees in all of wrestling. The awesome Steve Boston. He's going to be our referee for the matches tonight, folks. Listen to what he's got to say. Let's have a good time. And y'all enjoy this sabotage. Let's get pumped out there, folks. Let's get pumped. Get your friends down here. TP them in. Get them up in these stands. Let's fill this thing up. Let's get this arena rocking. ACW Championship Wrestling Sabotage. Okay, folks, if we could get y'all to remain quiet, we're going to hear a few words from the lovely Giselle and see what she's got to say. No. No. I really shouldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. I should be laying in bed after that little bitch of Bina came out to my mattress and hit me with a fucking hammer first. But you know what? With each day, I will watch ACW. Each day, I will look and see how far Alina has gotten. It just makes me sick to my stomach that they're still employing that criminal. I can't believe. I don't know how long am I going to be out. But rest assured, Alina, it won't be for long. I'm going to make sure you suffer immensely. When I come back, I'll make sure that you won't even see it coming, bitch. But just know this. You're the woken beast within me. And once it comes out, I cannot stop. It's gonna take more than a bunch of skinny, insignificant little peons like Satyori to stop me. And I also have my ways as well. But you better watch your back, bitch. Cause this girl is going to retire you for good. Well, there you have it, folks. The words from uh, Giselle. The threats, the promises. She's going to retire Avina for good, is what she said. Oh. Doesn't think she was too happy with Avina. And uh, she's a big girl to have pissed at you all the time. So, folks, that might turn out to be one of the most uh, vicious and, and cruel matches we're going to see. I don't even know if she's going to wait for a match. Okay, what we got going on here? Coming in at a height of 5 feet 6 inches tall with a weight of 135 pounds all the way from Charleston, West Virginia, Stacy Grace. Stacy Grace, folks. You know, Stacy's been around for a little while. She's wrestled in, in a lot of the other feds, like uh, VWE and HAWX. She's a good old girl from the backwoods, and uh, she's lived through some tough times and seen some tougher. And I think all of that made her just a tough woman. So uh, look at that. Look at that. That is a nimble young woman. She's uh, flexible. Kind of make you have thoughts, doesn't it, folks? 
Stacy Grace. Stacy Grace. Coming out next, her opponent, here she comes folks. Standing at a height of 5 feet 9 inches tall, coming in at a weight of 140 curvaceous, beautiful pounds. The incredible, the, <laughs> the queen of the hats from Chicago, Illinois, Sayuri Damiano. Look at her, folks. Look at that vision of beauty. Mm. How can you argue with that? She is absolutely gorgeous, and you got to love her hats. And how does she keep them on during the match? It's magic. It's magic, I tell you. But she always comes out looking so pretty, so pristine, so proper. And we have the beautiful, beautiful, wonderful Sayuri, the city girl going against the incredible... The voluptuous, the irresistible Stacy Grace, all the way from the backwoods, folks. And what are we going to have down home against City Girl? Which one's going to get it done tonight? And here we go. The referee has checked them both. There they are. They're locking up in the middle of the ring. And this match is underway. You heard the bell, and here they are, folks. Look at the taller woman grabbing her. She's pushing there, going back and forth. I think this is just to show who's going to be stronger this time, folks. Look at Stacy. She's got her the wickedness in her. Grabbing that arm, trying to yank it out of its socket, just pulling on it, tugging on it. That wrist lock. And you know, folks, it may not look like much, but you do that enough. She keeps yanking on that arm, keeps pulling it out of that socket, and eventually that arm goes numb. And she's got no strength left in it. And did you see that beautiful get-up by Sayuri? Showing her agility, her nimbleness. And there it was, nice big toe. Oh, oh, what was that? The foxy face buster, folks. That was a beautiful move by the lovely Sayuri. And now she's going to work on her, stomping on her. She's trying to take it back to her. Oh, look at the look at the uh, the, the sportsmanship coming out of Sayuri, offering to go ahead and kiss Stacy's boo-boos better. Ah, I got to tell you folks, that's something I'd like to see. I don't, I don't know about y'all. But here we go. They are back in the center of the ring, locked up again. Neither one of them giving an inch on this one. Oh, my. And you know, common physics would say that the larger woman had the advantage here, but I don't see Stacy backing down. I don't see that... Uh, the Sayuri is able to just move her around at, at air whim. I think Stacy's a little bit more solid than, than Sayuri expected, and it was a nice big high kick on her. Now she's gone back to work on that midsection, stomping on it, trying to steal that breath from her, trying to get her out of breath, winded, make sure that she has no strength left to fight back. Oh, with the handstand. Oh! Landing it! 
There was a beautiful handstand leg drop. Dropped it straight on her. Stacy's in a bit of pain. Look at the referees down in there getting into it, making sure that she's all right. Nice. That was a beautiful clothesline coming off the ropes. And look. Stacy's looking to the crowd. Give me some noise. Give me some noise. Now she's yelling at her to get up, get up. Tell her anything she can do, she can do better. Oh, and coming back. Oh, ho, ho, the wicked. Showing off. That was, folks, that was just, just pure evil right there. Showing her that she can do that leg stand, that handstand too. And now she's going for the pin, but no, no, we're not going to get it that quick. We're not going to get it that quick. I don't think Sayuri's done yet. Stacy's looking to the crowd. She's wanting to hear that roar. She likes to hear them cheer for her, folks. She's wanting to hear it. Go on. Now she threw her into the turnbuckle. You know, Stacy came into this uh, into this federation, and uh, she's shown that that she's got no love for the good. She's she's one of those. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her torquing that leg. She's got it outside the ring, pulling it on it through that rope. Oh, she's stretching that hip out. Using that rope to her advantage, the ref is calling her off, calling her off. She took every second she could. There's a warning by the ref, but hey. And here she goes. Look at it, the springy somersault. Bam! Oh my God. She landed that. She sent Sayuri flying across the ring with that, landing on her back. That was agility. That was athleticism. Folks, these women, oh my God, they work so hard for this. Now she's going back down for the pin again. Grabbing her leg. Has she got it? No, 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 she doesn't. And Stacy yelling at the referee now. I don't think... I don't think Mr. Boss is going to take too much lip off of her, though. You know you know how they are, folks. If they don't get what they want, they're going to whine and cry about it. All part of Hollywood's entourage. It seems like none of them can do it fair. They just got to have it their way, folks. And you know, he pulls them in. And, and every single one of them acts exactly the same way. So here we go. We hear the crowd chanting. We got a lot of booze, got a lot of sin. Get up, Sayuri, get up. Looks like people out here want Sayuri to win. And she's coming back. She's not laying down, folks. She came up nice and hard. Now she's got that Irish whip going. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The butterfly suplex. Not only will that slam you on your back, it will yank those shoulders right out of joint. It'll make you not want to get up for breakfast in the morning. Oh, my God. That was a gorgeous move by the lovely Sayuri. Stacy's back up on her feet now. They're facing off once again. Sayuri punched her. We're just going to turn this into a street brawl, folks. We're not even playing around anymore. Sayuri lifts her up. She's got her. Oh, 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 the face breaker. Oh, she came down hard on her face. Oh, my God. Now she's stomping hard on that stomach. She is beating this girl. She is beating her down, trying to take all of the energy, all of the strength she's got. She's going to get this win if she keeps this up, folks. She is going hard at Stacy. No, no, we got a two count. We got a two count. There was the pin, but we only got a two count out of it. Come on. Y'all get into this match now.
you folks, have you ever seen anything so beautiful as that, that lovely thong that's coming right up the middle of Sayuri's butt? Oh my god, that is like two perfect globes just sitting there begging to be bitten. Woo! I can't tell you how much I love this job sometimes. Stacy with the knee to the face coming in with a spinning back kick. And now she's off the ropes into another spinning kick. It looks like she has Sayuri on the ropes. Folks, Sayuri is going down. What have we got here? What are we looking at? Sayuri is down. Stacy is up. Stacy is stumping on Sayuri's stomach. Then she goes after that leg that she was working on before, trying to make that thing so she can't use it. And now she rolls her up for the pin. Do we have it? One, two, and three. We got the three count, folks. We got the three count. Stacy Grace, the newbie. <laughs> the lady from the backwoods. A oh, beautiful, wicked, evil Stacy Grace comes out on top, beating Sayuri with a count of three and a roll up pin. Let's hear it for the winner, folks. Stacy Grace. You know, I don't, I don't know how, how the referee missed it, but that was obviously she had her, she was using the rope, and she, she rolled her up. That was definitely a cheat. She definitely cheated to get that, but she did get it, and that, is, that was it. That's the end of it. Whatever it takes, I guess, folks. Whatever it takes, but you can definitely tell who the faces are and who the heels are and then Stacy her second week into this and, and she's definitely proven that she is that she is one of those that uh, can't be trusted and follows right along in Hollywood's footsteps all right folks Well, I can't tell you how how disappointed I am to see Sayuri fall, but you know, it's one of those things that, that you do what it takes, and sometimes, sometimes you get away with it. And this time, we definitely saw someone get away with it. The referee didn't see it, and now he's got that count, and there we go. And speaking of Hollywood, look who's coming down the ramp right now. Oh, oh it looks like JW's being let out by Hollywood. Is Hollywood building himself a stable? Is that what we have going on here? Is JW just another one of his uh, followers? One of his little recruits. And here we have it. Hollywood and JW entering the ring. Hollywood with that belt slung across his shoulder. I can't wait to see a time when he's going to actually have to defend that belt, folks. So maybe we'll get that sooner than later, huh? I'd like to see shut, Rock have a shot at him. You, you shut your mouth. You let me talk. This is Hollywood's time. This is the director's cut. This is... 
the entourage. This is me and JW taking over. So you see Thanks. last week, you know, I made a little deal with Rock Mail Constantine. If he could beat JW, he could have the match he wanted. He could have me one on one. But there's just one little thing. I didn't exactly see what the stipulation of that match would be. And I'm not going to not yet, you know, because, well, we got other business to handle. Like, JW destroying Kyle Strange. Kyle Strange. A man who I have retired multiple times. He just won't go away. He is like a cockroach. He can't follow the script. The script says you go away, you don't come back. But he keeps coming back. I have never in my life seen a man so obsessed with me that he just can't stay away. And I, I'm not questioning sexuality or anything. Don't get me wrong. But he just won't stay away from me. Every time I take him out, he comes right back. You know, Andrew is back on his return match, and then he came back again. So this week, JW is going to handle the ending. The end of Kyle Strange. There will be no more Kyle Strange left. Yes, JW, you may speak. Speaking of Kyle Strange, and when I like me a constant thing, let's talk about the little issues. How about the issue that Sayuri has a bigger bat than either of them could ever wish to have? She probably has the balls in the relationship too, you know? What? And I hear she swings her balls and bat around pretty often because she's a whore. Let's be honest here. Do we really want whores? Being role models to our kids who come to our shows, I don't think so. So I'm going to do everyone a favor and I'll start with Kyle Strange here tonight. Yes, yes you will JW. And it is quite obvious that we are the role models. We are what everyone should strive to be. We are the entourage. And there you heard it, folks. Words from the entourage. Sounds like uh, JW's a little jealous of Rock. I think he may have a little crush on Sayuri there, huh? Isn't that what the little kids did on the playground when they liked a the girl? They, they talked bad about her? What the hell are you two doing out here? And coming on down the ramp now, the high flying low life, Rogmael Constantine, accompanied by Kyle Strange. I guess they might have something to say to answer what these uh, boys were talking. You look a little scared there, Hollywood. What you got to say? First and foremost, um, yeah, I, I have a real serious question for you, Glennifer, uh, if I can be so bold as to call you that. Um, yeah, are, you, are you ready? Are you ready? This is your uh, question right now. No? Okay, fine. All right, here we go. How in the hell are you going to call cut when my boot is up your ass sticking out your mouth? Some big words from a little man. You know, you like to fly through the air, Rock. Well, I have news for you. I said I'd wait to announce the first stipulation of our match that's coming up. But, well, here's the simple fact. You like to fly. Well, how are you going to fly when you can't fly? When you're grounded? When I make the rules that you cannot go any higher than a foot off the canvas anytime during our match unless I am the one lifting you up. What? It doesn't matter. I'll still kick your ass. Game on. You heard it there, folks. 
because that you is heard the way it there. I wrote the script. That is the way Hollywood wrote the script. And you know what happens when I write the script? Everything falls in line because I am Mr. Hollywood. And what I want, I get. Are you still talking? Are you still talking? <laughs> well, you heard it right there, folks. Hollywood is not afraid to face Rock, as long as Hollywood doesn't have to deal with Rock's natural athletic J-Dub. ability. JW, take care of this uh, light work. <laughs> And there you have it. Can you believe that? Hollywood would not face him unless Rock agreed not to use his signature moves. How cowardly can you be? You want to face a wrestler, but you don't want him to wrestle. Yes, Mr. Hollywood, we think you're a really big man now. All right, in the ring, now we got Kyle Strange and D.W. going at it. Folks, these two... Have a little something to get off their chest, I think. Uh, they've been rivals for a long time, from what I understand. And they're going to go at it pretty hard. These two. And we're having technical difficulties. Plugged in now. How you okay, doing, we <laughs> how, are we, how are we doing, Rock? This is going to turn out to be a uh, an interesting one, huh? I don't, I don't know how uh, this is. It's kind of interesting, but there seems to be a little blotch right in front of me blocking the view. Yeah, we can't get rid of him. Unfortunately, he likes to hang around. He wants to make sure everything goes his way. And I don't think he's above doing what it takes to make that happen. Oh, uh, look at JW posing, but that's all right. Kyle's got this. Um, gee, wow. Hollywood, can you do something else? Really? All right, folks. In the ring right now. From Bakersfield, California, at a height of 6 feet 9 inches tall, at a weight of 325 pounds, the Annihilator, JWB's wing, and going against from Providence, Rhode Island, at a height of 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 215 pounds. Folks, he has given away 110 pounds on this match. The strange one, Kyle Strange. And you heard the comments before the match, folks. They do not like each other. There is no love loss here. And Hollywood's actually wanting JW to retire the big Kyle Strange. I don't know that that's in the cards tonight, but hey, I guess we're going to find out. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I've known Kyle for a long time. and Oh, he's going for a pin here. He's going wow. for a pin already. I don't think he's yeah, going to do it that yeah. easy. I think Kyle's Hashtag still got a little bit soon. left in him there. Too soon. Nice try, J-Dub. Nice try. You know, I, I sure would like to see somebody shot. Come on, too. ref. Yeah, you, you hear him arguing with the ref. Come on, ref. Uh, what, what's he want? Kyle had his shoulders down for like one second. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that's how that goes. The people that uh, they can't win any other way. They they want that quick count. They want to get it in there so that they don't actually have to do what they're supposed to be doing. They want it over easy and quick. They don't want to actually have to earn it. Wow! Well, right now, Kyle much Strange just, is fighting back. I think that over easy and quick thing. I think you pretty much described Hollywood sex life, but he didn't bat an eye on that one. Kyle Strange laying it into him. Look at it, and it doesn't even look like J.W.'s stun. He's not affected by any of this. Kyle Strange is trying everything he's got. The snapmare rolling him over. Good night. Good night. That's it. He's done. Not if he doesn't get down and cover him up quick. However, unfortunately, I do think that J.W.'s got a little bit more in him than that, folks. So uh, we're not going to see that quick a pin. However... 
it, it looks like Kyle's trying to find a way to hurt JW. It doesn't look like the big man's feeling any pain at all right now. You know, he had that, that, that snapmare there. And oh, it's going for the cape. Oh, look at that. that. Kyle went right over Nobody it. Nobody home and good night. No, oh, what's happening? JW caught. catch him and slams him to the mat. Kyle Strange has been slammed to the mat. JW caught him in midair. Now he is stomping on him. He is stomping hard on that man. That's a lot of weight. 325 pounds behind that foot. Coming down from that six foot nine inch tall man. Landing right in the center of Kyle Strange's belly. Right on that solar plexus. You know he's trying to charge all that, all that uh, breath out of his body. Trying to weaken him. Make it so he can't fight back. You start doing that, folks. The brain starts starving for oxygen. You start needing a little bit more and you start panting pretty heavy and before you know it you're seeing stars and that's what JW is working on he's got that leg held up he's trying to pin him no no Kyle is not going to go down that easy he is not going to go down that easy folks Kyle is coming back up you know I, I see these guys week after week and they go they go for that quick pin they want that quick pin they don't want to have that referee actually count out three they want it down they want it easy and they don't want to have to work for their money just like Hollywood he's never worked for a dime in his life folks oh ho, 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 beautiful oh, move beautiful reversal by Kyle Strange that was gorgeous the jawbreaker and it it Get him, the big man Get him. It stunned the big man. Now he's pulling him up. He's pulling him up, folks. What's he got in store for him next? Kyle Strange with that beautiful jawbreaker. Caught the big man by surprise. His neck snapping back. And there he goes. Oh, the arm flip. There he goes. And now he's got Richard. that arm torch. He's Richard. got that arm bar locked in. He needs more he's arm bar right about now. He's got that arm bar locked in. He is torquing up on that elbow. He's cranking those joints, that shoulder being pulled out of socket. Oh, he is working on that arm. He is trying to weaken that man's arm. So he uh, Kermit the Trog there has been taking acting lessons from Jay, from Hollywood about that. He's uh, yeah, arguing with the ref. Well, they always argue with the ref. They, like I said, they, they're going to try to get it any way they can. My concern is he starts arguing with the ref and distracts him, and then all of a sudden Hollywood's going to pull some hanky shit over there. We're going to end up seeing Kyle lose this through no fault of his own. What was that? Off the top rope, flying backflip. He nails him. Nail him with that. That's it. Done. Done. Kyle grabs him. No, he's picking the big man up. He's not done working him over. He is not done working him over yet, folks. He's going to keep going on this big man. Whips him into the ropes. Coming off. Oh, oh, the big clothesline. The big clothesline. Catches Kyle. Kyle was surprised by that. Ouch. He didn't think JW Negative. had anything in him. And he caught that big clothesline flushed. The big man sent Kyle to the mat. The head bouncing off. The entire arena shook. That was a hit, folks. That was a hit. That could be good night to Kyle. That could be the end of it. Picks Come it up. On, two. Come on, Kyle. Nope, nope. Just two. Just two. Again, just two, just folks. Nine. Kyle is getting it. I don't know where he is pulling it from. That was only two. That's what it is. He is not giving it up. Intestinal fortitude, folks. He is stepping up. He is working. He is not going to let this man have the satisfaction of beating him like that. Well, folks, look at this. This is what these people train for. This is why they are the superior athletes they are. Look at the punishment Kyle Strange has taken, and yet he's still got the presence of mind to lift that shoulder and not give the man the pin. And there he goes again, uh, complaining to the ref. Are you kidding? Really? Kyle is getting up, but he's hurt. He's hurt. JW, I don't know. I don't, is he arguing with the ref? I can't see what he's doing. Is he trying to distract the ref? I don't like Hollywood hanging around on that. Kyle with the big flying double Working kick. Working him down. Working him down. 
that's what you got to do with big men. You got to chop them down. You can't let them stand there. You can't go toe to toe with them sometimes. Sometimes you got to chop them down. You got to start beating up pieces of them. And that's it. He whips him on into the turnbuckle. That big man's back slamming into that hard, hard turnbuckle. Yeah, I know it's padded, folks. I know it's padded. But that is solid metal beneath that padding. And when you got 325 pounds coming into it like that, it hurts. Yeah, nice ass chops. I'm sure he remembers those from last week. How's that feel? Yeah, right before you lost, JW. JW is just, he is a powerhouse. I mean, as much as you may not like him, as much as you may despise the man for what he has done and the turnaround he's made, he is a powerhouse. He is a, a, he's a, he's a force to be reckoned with, folks. The man is damn near seven feet tall and he takes it to him. And now look at him. He drops that big elbow on the top of Kyle's head, that big elbow. That hard elbow, and it doesn't seem like J.W. has hurt at all. He, he recovered quick. Kyle is stunned in the middle of the ring. What is this? Oh, my. Oh! J.W. lifting Kyle up to the full six foot nine inches tall. Laying him on his shoulder, flipping him over, and slamming his head down into the mat. That will make your neck snap, folks. He is trying to end Kyle's career right there. Look at that. And now look what he's doing. He's picking him up. What's he going to do? He's rolling him over. He's got him in the camel clutch. What is happening here? He's going for the submission. Have we got a submission? Is Kyle going to submit? An inverted Come electric on, chair. Come on, An Kyle. An inverted electric chair. Is Kyle going to commit? Steve's asking him. He's down there. The referee is down there. He's getting on him. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? He has got that locked in solid. That back is bent. Those legs are bent. Folks, there is so much torque, so much pressure going on there. His back is close to snapping. Look at him laying that on him so hard. He's looking for the submission. He wants the submission. And Steve's getting Are a little excited. Get Are we going to get He's it? got it. He said he tapped. Is it? Is that it? Did he tap? That's it. Steve Boston called the match. Your winner. Your winner with a tap out. Making Kyle Strange submit is going to be the big, the unstoppable, the immovable force, J.W. Beeswing. The Entourage with another win. The Entourage keeps coming. The Entourage will not be stopped. It is a rolling tide of carnage, and it keeps coming week after week, match after match. I don't what the hell know is JW too. doing? What the hell is JW yeah. doing? Folks, there it was. You saw that with that vicious Boston Crab that he had locked on him. He had that man so deep in that crab there was no way out. Kyle held out as long as he could. There was just nothing to be done. He was too tired. These men were exhausted. He had nothing left in him. He could not kick out of it. And the way he had it locked on, I, I, Kyle, I, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. And there you have it, the Entourage with another win. Hollywood's Entourage with another win. That's all right. I'm sure we'll be back next week with this. It's all right, Carl. You did a good job. Well, I tell you, he didn't give up at all. You know, Rock, he, he fought. There's no doubt about it. He fought back, and he fought every step of the way. He was not an easy win. JW had to go to that. It was a it was a tough match, and they're still. I don't think I I don't think it's all resolved yet. 
I don't think we're anywhere near resolved. I think we've still got a lot coming out in those two. I wouldn't be surprised to see them going back at it again. I believe we're going to pay some bills here for a little bit. So I uh, think we are. Uh, we're going to. I would appreciate it because, uh, yeah, I, was, I came out here just about like, well, I came out here to tell Hollywood <laughs> to shut the hell up pretty much. <laughs> All right. The ACW official website and social media is uh, HTTP www.acwwrestling that is acwwrestling dot us that is for the ACW wrestling page uh, on Facebook you can find them under the groups Apex Championship Wrestling folks don't forget to get up on the Facebook with them on YouTube at the YouTube channel we will go ahead and paste that in there for you so you can go ahead and get that on Second Life you'll find us right here every single time Coalition Sports by Trey Biken Coalition is the second life's newest sports organization. If you haven't played football yet, then you're missing out. Coming soon is a soccer system with plans to bring some excitement into the SL soccer world. Come check us out at www.coalitionsports.com and see what sports should be like in second life. The ACW is also sponsored by Pure Rock Speed Shop and Showtime Designs. And what do we got? We got Whatchamacallit from appliers to mesh, from custom wrestling to tire custom tees. Come to Whatchamacallit for all your clothing needs. Anybody wants more information on that, you can please contact Bannock Og for more information. If you're interested in ACW sponsoring for your Second Life business, please blog or on our next event, uh, for the next event, Contact Kristen or Jack Citron for pricing information. That would be Jack C. Citron for pricing information, folks. And, of course, as always, we would love to thank our fans. Again, you are our biggest sponsor. You are the reason we do what we do week after week. And it is so awesome to look out into the stands and see you multiplying. This is fantastic, folks. Week after week, these people come out here and they put on this show for you. You get to watch some of the best wrestling you will ever see. And these folks going at it, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you all. That's right. Give you all a big round of applause for yourself because you are our biggest sponsor. Thank you very much for coming out and watching this week after week. And now, folks, moving on. And if you'll check your local chat, folks, right there are the links to the different groups and the, the Facebook and the YouTube and, and, of course, the link to here so that we can make sure that you are here every week to watch us wrestle. Oh, you said something about hiding a bat. I hope you did so. <laughs> All right, on to our next match. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Standing at 5'7", weighing in at 125, she is Avina. Remember, folks, this is one of our title matches. This is one time limit of 15 minutes given on this one. We're going to have a pinfall title match. You know, she thinks she should have had that match last week, Rock. She, I agree. She thinks that I she would have won the number one contender's match where Giselle allowed Jessica to pin her, and she's right. The, the underhanded bullshit way that that went about, and, you know, I can't say enough bad things about Jessica. It just doesn't happen. I don't think there are enough bad things to say about that. I still haven't seen that woman wrestle except for the first time, and then she had her people run out and start beating on somebody. I've got no use for her. She won't even come in here. No, uh, no, no. I was, um, I guess you'd say, part of the found, foundation of the entourage when they were all beating the hell out of me when I had my first match here at Suicide Suicide. Wow, easy for you to say, Suicide Springs. But we're not done. <laughs> we got somebody else to bring out here. Uh, do you want to announce this lady, sir? Oh, I got this one. I got this one. All right. Hailing from Vancouver, 
British Columbia, coming in at a height of 5 feet 7 inches, weighing in at 130 pounds of pure awesome, your women's champion, she high fives for life, the lovely, the incredible, the unstoppable, the inexplainable, Christy! Let's hear it, folks. Let's hear it for our beautiful, our fantastic, high-fiving ACW Women's Champion. Folks, I tell you what, every time she comes into the ring, every time I see her, oh, it is evening. high energy. High she five. She's got a smile on her face. She's got high fives for everybody. She is incredible, folks. I love the energy this woman brings to the ring. And now she's going to go up against Avina. And let me tell you, you know, the first week Avina was here, I, I said some things about her. I called her a newbie. I called her a rookie. I called her whatever you wanted me to call her. And that that's okay. Because, folks, I tell you, I watched this woman. I watched this woman, and I watched her fight. There ain't nothing rookie about this woman. And uh, she showed me nothing but absolute integrity when she refused to fall in with Jessica's bullshit plan that had she, she had going on with Giselle. Absolute integrity on that. And I don't care what you say about Avina, folks. Don't care what you think about what she did last week with the back to Giselle. Right now, I gotta tell you, if anybody deserved a shot at this title, it is her. Bye -bye. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna get, as the two are gonna be patted down and squared off to get in on here. This is, um, yeah, this is uh, for the women's title. Wow. So, uh, one of the first, one of the first title matches tonight. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make some extra noise for this. This is the woman's title coming up here. And Steve calling for the start of the match. It's pull up ladies staring at each other from across the ring. All right, they're two facing up. You know, they're the same height, just about the same weight. Neither one of them giving an inch here. And uh, you got in the blue corner, Avina. She's solid. She's solid as they come. And Kristen, of course, our women's champion. You don't get much better than that, folks. And now they're squaring off against each other, circling, looking for a an opening to go at each other. And wow, well, this is who we're talking that up right now. Saying, they are. Uh, yeah, they, they you got ready to polish my belt. <laughs> Oh, and she started big punches from the champ on Avina. There she is. And, and, you know, and that's, that's nothing more than just to show a strength. Oh, and, and look, Avina comes back. in with the two kicks to the belly. Hit and Kristen comes back with another punch. This is a show of strength, folks. This is a show that neither one of these women is going to back down. They're going to take the punishment, whatever punish the other gives. There was a kick to the stomach and an elbow to the face. These two are not going to back down. This is not going to be an easy match for either one of them. Both of these women deserve to be yeah, here. Kristen and by her God, they're going to prove the ring. it. She's, she's got her sights. She's going in. Staying coming. High five. She calls. And oh, no. She is caught with a spinning back kick. I, I think Avina, that was a little bit of uh, playing a little possum, drawing her in, letting her think she can get that off. That's a long way to come across that ring like that. Now she's kicked her on back into the other corner. We got both of the ladies separated. Across and the ring, both of them now she's checking their try. breath. And Avita with a high coming in hard and fast. That arm to the throat. The corner splash knocking our champion to the mat. She is reeling on the mat. And Avina's picking her up, folks. This isn't going to be it. We're, picking her up, showing her back into the corner. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think mind. that there's... In the love loss, I don't think these two hate each other. I think that one just has what the other one wants. And uh, the other one's trying to keep a, a hold of it. So, yeah, this is it's going to be a good match. Avina definitely deserved this one. And uh, she is taking it to our champion right this moment. Our champion is hurting. Avina stepping back. 
And oh, a high flying no, kick! But the there. champion shot nobody comes. There. The champion played a little possum of her own, and out she rolls from that corner. Oh, look at the agility on that champion! All right, negative, negative. I mean, you know that backfired on her once. Which, what makes you think it's not going to backfire on you? Wow, that was a risky move. High five! High five, Cupcake! High five! Oh, both of them, both Again. of them showing their agility here. Both Again. of them rolling That's around the ring. Way. Oh, a lung blower. Oh, my. That what? took a little bit out of her. Yeah. That's, uh, a Vita yeah. grabbed it. Yeah. She grabbed her shoulders, pulled her back on her knees, forcing all of the air out of her lungs. That's going to slow the champ down. Uh, but uh, Vina is a little bit, uh, I, I don't know, she winded herself? Well, I think she got hurt in that last attempt. I mean, that's, she was up as high as that top rope and landed hard on her elbow. She, uh, she came down hard on that missed kick. So, you know, I think both of them have got a little pain going on in their bodies. And it's not something I'd enjoy. Or maybe I would. Hell, you guys don't know me. Uh, you know, what happens, you know, away from the arena. <laughs> Stays away from the arena. And Vina pulling and her legs. She's dragging. No, Vina she's pulling is back. Old. Rich. She is going to work on that leg. She's oh, not Johnny, trying for no, the pin. Wow, she is going to work this JW body. did that to me. She just totally hyperextended that knee. That's going to sting for a bit. And mm -hmm. she's going to have to take a little bit to walk that one off. Yeah, there's no weight going on that knee right now. And, and that's uh, something that Avina is going for. You know, if you if you take a man's woman's legs out from under him, they ain't got much fight left in them. And that's what she's going for. And look at her. She's picking that leg up again. She's going to do it. She's going to keep working on that leg. This is wrestling tactician. Look at her. She knows you pick a body spot. You go at it. You hurt it. You cause it pain. You and cause it to be Look at numb. that. She's laying that leg out across the ropes. Here uh, she this, comes. This She's on the break, top rope. This could break her leg. This, this could, could break be her leg. a career-ending move right here. She is not just trying to take the belt. She's trying to put our champ out. Oh, elbow to the stomach. Oh, elbow to the stomach. She opted not to take it. And you saw it. Steve Boston was in there counting her down, telling her to get down off that top yeah. rope. Even with the elbow to the stomach, the rest of her body came down on that leg and caused uh, Kristen some serious leg injury as it's propped up like that. You can tell she's favoring her right now. Well, I, you know, we said she deserved this match, and she did. She's working the champion like a professional. She's not, she's not giving her any chance. I, I like the fact that she has not gone for the quick pin. I like that because you can't get the quick pin that quick on a champion. That's just not there. Steve you know, Tom she's pulling that hair. hair, listen to the champion telling the referee, come on. And you got the referee in there yelling at her, let go of the hair, let go of the hair. He's counting out. The referee's not putting up with anything. Too. She just kicked the back of her head when she had her up like that. Avina, come on, you're better than that. Don't make me start hating you again. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, obviously, she's uh, deciding to take this match to down a dark path. Oh, she's, she's going for the figure up. four leg lock. Can she's, she get it? she's got it locked in. She's got that figure four leg lock deep. What can our champion do? This is a oh, submission move. Know. She's saying no. She know. is not giving up. She is not giving up, folks. Our champion is not going to be taken out that quick. Can she break this leg lock? And, and you, you remember not uh, two minutes ago, Avina dropped down on her. Uh, hurting her knee right there as this lane resting against the rope. So this is excruciating for the champion right here. Yes, it is. And you can see her beating on her legs, trying to get those legs off of her, trying to get her out of that. This has got to hurt. It's got to hurt. It's, it's doing its work. It's punishing. What's this? What's this? Over. She rolled over. Is That's she, it. she got out of it. She got out of it. Oh, yeah. She was going to let go. Oh, yeah. Kristen rolled over. She did over that reversal. All he of that on Avena's leg instead. Yes, she did. She rolled over and got all that weight on Avena's knee. And look, our champion is pulling herself up. She is breathing heavy, folks. Avena had to take some of that punishment herself. They're both winded. 
these two are just going at each other, folks. This is, is <laughs> you couldn't ask for much more in a championship bout between these two. And, you know, I've, I've got to admit, last time I saw two women going at it this long and got this excited, you know, it was back in the good old days of Cinemax and stuff like that. But, but no, tonight <laughs> we have got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and as scantily clad as these two women are, I'm not sure that they belong on that show. But hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many childhood fantasies did I have yeah, watching these scrambled still, Cinemax still. channels? Come on, folks, you all know you look through the snow to see it. Always, it. <laughs> yeah, it always hurt when that big black line was right in the middle of the screen. Oh, but Bavina's now firing back, kicking the chat that. left and look right. Look at that, reversal. Man, it to the face Number one more six. time. Oh, my God, that was, how many of those kicks did she deliver? Four or five that connected? One right after the other. She was a spinning dynamo on that. Unbelievable heel to the face, heel to the face, heel to the face. Now she's going for the cover. One, two. One, two. Oh. No, no, no. That our champion's got a new champion. That Ooh, close. That looked close. That was close. Oh, Jesus. That, we almost had a new champion, folks. We almost had a new champion. Yeah, yeah. Avina screaming at, at Austin, and you saw Austin right down there. He was right on top of it. He wasn't slow counting anybody. She got it rolled up. She pinned. Oh, only two. Only Another two. Another two count. Another two count. Steve Boston going at it. He is right there. He is on top of the action, folks. Our referee is keeping this going. He is not letting either one of these women get away. And that beautiful foot sweep coming from behind. Oh, landing on top of her. Close oh. to double axe yeah, handle Chris on her. This is fine back. Our champion's not done yet, folks. She has, she has something left, and she's gonna show it to him. Uh, she's done everything, but ask her, please stay down. Oh, leg drop to the face. Done. Done. Champ's got her pin up. Well, that's leverage. One, two. Oh, how did she kick out? I thought she was out of there. I thought that was Jeez. over it. You know, neither one of them are giving it up. Neither one of them are going to make this easy. And and they're going to fight back with every bit of strength and breath that they have. Both of these women got heart. Both of these women are, are trained athletes. They do this day after day, week after week. I, I know I couldn't. I know I couldn't. And there they go, circling each other again. You can see how Kristen's favoring that leg. You know she doesn't want any more punishment done to that. Now Venus telling her to just stay down. And, and the, the champion is firing right back, letting her know the next time she goes down, that's it. She's not getting back up. I, I Oh, and look at that. A slap to the face. Both of them. That is just pure Fire humiliation, back. folks. Oh, yeah. And oh, oh, a spinning oh, back fist! A spinning oh, back fist caught her foot on the cheek! Oh my god! Our champion with a spinning back fist catching her flush on the cheek, dropping Avena to the mat. Oh, and our champion is not done She's yet. Not Look done. at her pulling Avena to her feet. And then knee to the to the stomach, right in the midsection there. Oh wait, what's this? What is this? What is this? Wow! Oh! Ouch! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't even. Yeah. The Kudo driver. She. Oh, she. Okay. Oh, uh, I can't even no. describe this thing. Uh, yeah, she I know picked you. Picked her up and dropped her on her head. Yeah, yeah, I don't she think she really wanted to be the number one contender. Three, that's, that's it. it. The that's champion it. retains her belt, folks. Avina is out after that deadly, that mystifying, indescribable move that Kristen pulled. Oh, my God. 
I, I've never seen that. I don't ever want to see it again. It hurt me sitting here. And now you have it. The ACW Women's Champion retains her belt. The lovely, the impressive, the indescribable and unbeatable Kristen! Two of them showing a show of sportsmanship here. That's good to see here in this. And yes, champ, I got your belt right here. High fives wow. to the champ. High fives. Look at that energy, folks. She took a beating like that, and she still got the energy to high five around. What an incredible champion. What incredible sportsmanship. And and you know what? That was a hell of a match. We couldn't ask for more. That was incredible. Yes, ma'am. Sure Athena got can. her shot, and she took it. And. It looked like there for a while that she was going to win it. Uh, you know, after that, I, I, I don't think anybody wants to be the number one contender after seeing that devastating move. What was that? What was that, Rock? I've never seen that. I have never seen that. And I... How it did not break that woman's neck, I don't know. That yeah, was pretty much a, uh, um, next please? I don't know what you want to call that. And yeah, Steve, I'm right with you on the beer. I've got about two or three of them here. Wait, hang on. Um, if, uh, yeah, if the CEO's listening, I'm not drinking beer here at the commentary at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but here you go, Steve. Have one. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I need after that. You know what they say? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, our surprise entrant into Suicidal Springs and the actual winner, winner of Suicidal yeah. Springs. And oh, well, more importantly. The man that laid Hollywood the hell out with the guitar to start things off. <laughs> yeah, let's get right down to what really matters. Evil Ernie. So we're gonna hear something from him here. Okay. Coming from Evil Ernie, I just love my theme song. It's freaking awesome. One thing I can't ever get over is wrestlers who come out and demand their music be stopped. Hell, their music is probably the most interesting thing they've got going. Because sometimes, just sometimes, from the time they open their mouth, to the time when they finally shut it, they haven't said a damn thing. In fact, you're left going, huh? What? Did they say something? Or it's so long you call it nap time. Because if you take a snooze, you haven't missed a thing.
So I'll try to be interesting. So here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and wild ones of all ages, the name's Ernie. Evil Ernie. I know when I came out last week, the majority of you were like, what the, who the hell is that? Well, I'm here to introduce myself right, the right way. I am the six foot eight, 275 pound guy you will love to hate or hate to love. I'm the demon from your wildest dreams, the angel of your worst nightmares. I'm the heavy metal monster. I'm the one, the only evil Ernie. Now with that said, I'm not a nice guy or a role model, and I won't pretend to be. I don't like faces, they're, pardon the pun, two-faced, and no, I didn't mean they're twice the face as others. No, I mean they will tell you how bad drugs are while doing them behind closed doors. Or they act like big men but look like an Olsen twin. Or say how we need to fight hunger, but they turn a blind eye to the bum asking for change. Hey, I've only got one eye. The heels, on the other hand, will run up behind you and hit you when you're not looking. And when they lose, it's someone else's fault. I'm different. I won't turn my back on the bum. I'll eat a chicken leg in front of them with the bone. And I didn't. And I don't have the stature of a little girl. And I'll look them in the eye before sending them straight to the grave. And if I lose, I won't blame anyone. In fact, I won't say a word. But I will give them a memory knot so they remember next time. I'm a force of nature, a hurricane to a trailer park, and just so we're clear, just because other people in the back may agree with my uh, tactics, don't mean we're going out for coffee and talk about girls and have a slumber party. The only slumbering that will be going on is when I knock them out and get the one, two, three. Now, I finally got my freaking mic working. At the hardcore match, I took the nine ninety nine I paid for a movie. One, if I knew it was Hollywood's movie, I would have loved it to surprise me that Walmart even sold porn. Yes, it was porn. I mean, if I want to see a guy do an animal, I'll visit the closest farm. He should have been named a boy in his coat. And it's subtitled in Dumbass. I don't even speak Dumbass. And as for Matt Nerdo, let's just say he was an innocent bystander. Okay, not so innocent, but a bystander nonetheless. I think he should change his first name to Monday so I can do what WCW did and cancel his ass. And I'm putting everyone on the back on notice. True evil's here no matter if you're Mrs. Hollyweird, Matt Nerdo, Poopy Poop -poo 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 Stone, JW Beeswax, or anyone else who is unimportant for me to mention. Now with that being said, the endless graveyard sent me fine bodies to fill it up. So hi, my name's Evil Ernie, and I'll be your nightmare. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, right from Paul Stanley and Spawn's illegitimate love child, Evil Ernie. Yeah, he had some um, really harsh words for most of us, sounds like, but yeah, he's not concerned. I don't, was that... Did he, yeah. Does he always sound like that? All right. Okay, so we done? Are we uh, done with that? Are we getting down to wrestling? I think so. I think what we've got coming up is uh, another wrestling match. Um, I hope so, because, wow, that'd be a note to end on, wouldn't it? That was, uh, he's going to be my nightmare. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not close, but, yeah, whatever. This is, uh, <laughs> Evil Ernie. I wonder where Shoelace dug him up. Uh, pun intended, I'm sure. <laughs> pun intended. Alright, oh, folks, coming up. This is it.
this is it. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me see. Led to the ring. Yes, By indeed. the gold digging diva Akasha. From Cleveland, Ohio, coming in at a weight at a height of six feet, eleven inches tall, weighing in at a solid three hundred and twenty-five pounds, the renegade Bannock Oh And you see him folks, there he is, six feet eleven inches of magnificence. The man, the myth. The ass, Bannock Og. Is he a heel? Is he a face? Or is he just fighting for himself? He just kicks ass in general. It's, well, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, right? You know, last time. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Do my eyes deceive me? I know who this is. Who so, is this? ladies and gentlemen, may I present it back to you from Houston, Texas, standing at six foot six, weighing at two hundred and eighty pounds. He is ACW's resident wiener man. And the phenomenal one, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Jamal Travis. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Can I get a dog? Can I get a dog? <laughs> That is an entrance, folks. Look at it. Miss Yummy's Hot Dogs. <laughs> I take mine with mustard, please. Well, I went ahead and grabbed me a hot dog off there. I don't know about you. You know, last time Corrupt and Bannock faced off when they or when they tagged together, which ended up being their face off, they threw blows all the way to the back. I don't think Bannock really gets along with anybody here. Yes, sir, Jamal. It's good to see you back. So, um, let me get this straight. We have got um, a guy named after Bread and the Wiener Man. Screw it, I'm hungry. Good night, everyone. <laughs> you gotta go find you a <laughs> weedy world to go eat at. Look at this. He's got those hot dogs over in that cart. He's not watching it. We need we have a good eat. All right, folks, looks like the referee has gone ahead and checked them both out. I think we're getting ready to get this going. He's called for the bell, and here we go. And the shirt is off, and the Wiener Man is back, so uh, he's looking right at Bannock saying, come on, let's get this going. You know, there is a bit of a height difference, but I'm not sure there's a bit of a size difference in the two. Look at them. They are both just specimens, incredibly muscled. Just, I don't think either man's going to give going to give an inch on this one. And right away, oh, right away, yeah, Jamal yeah. grabs him and throws him into that side headlock. Down to the ground, torquing on that neck, wrenching it, digging that in deep. And Steve down, checking checking on Bannock, see if he's uh, already given up. Uh, so far, uh, nothing really from him. 
don't know. That'd be uh. And uh, Jamal's wrenching it in a little bit tighter here. Yeah, he is. He He's trying to get over. Him. Oh, we well, know the big brawler is getting up. Stood up and whipped him into the ropes. Coming yeah, off of it. Jamal oh, fire him oh, back. Oh, the... Jamal is ready for it. That's Coming it. up with Jamal that big lead. Drop kick. Beautiful. Beautiful up there. And what's he doing? Is he He's going for the pin already. Pin, well, he's, I got a two out of it. Uh, he's calling him like he sees him, so, um, yeah. All right, now, uh, he's, he's picking the big man back up. He's eyeing, he's eyeing the ropes, throwing him into it, going off the other side. He's working him, and here he goes. Did he come out with that spear? Did he catch the big man coming yeah, off that he rope? Yes, he, he sure did. did. He dug that shoulder right into his midsection. Got his, he's got him. Oh, he's saying, Watch out, Baldy. Um, yeah, um, oh, he's got something else in mind. Throwing him back. Looks like he's aimed towards the corner. And Vanish looks like sure a hot dog. Vanish oh, looks out. Yeah, he's, he's still he's stealing some of his uh, hot dogs right there. What's he doing taking the hot dogs from that cart? You can't beat a man with hot dogs now. And Jamal's going right after him. Get out of my cart. What are you doing in my cart? You better pay for those, Bannock. Oh, Jamal's going to make him pay, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like we went to a wrestling show and some Grand Theft Wiener broke out here. <laughs> Grand Theft Wiener. <laughs> Do we get to hit him with a baseball bat after we're done and not pay him? <laughs> Oh, I, I think so. Steve, about that. Steve is uh, trying to do, get some order back in here, trying to get both men back in the ring, and both men do. Oh, Jamal working him down in the corner. He's got him kicked down. He slumped over. Could this be? Could this be? I think it is. I think it is. Jamal's taking uh, an awful long yeah. time. Yeah, Jamal's Wiener Flight 191, you were clear for takeoff. Here we go, the Wiener Buster. Oh, no. No, oh, no he got caught. He got caught. The big man picked him up. Slamming him to the mat. Oh, you know, it's not as bad as lifting him over his head, but he picked him up to shoulder height, and that's got to be about six feet. And then dropped that man yeah, straight that's down a onto hell of his back. Drop anyway. That's a hell of a drop just to be, you know, just to fall off of. Not to yeah, mention, I, uh, you know, you know, I've I've been drunk and fell off a few porches that high, but you know, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was slammed down. <laughs> He had a little bit more force than just a stumble there, I think. <laughs> and Bannock looks like uh, he's looking for something under the ring already or something. What is, what's going on here? Bannock's coming back into the ring. Jamal and him are still going at it, still throwing the blows, still trying to see what the hell's going on. Neither one of these men is really giving up. I mean, they're both going at it. They both hard hitting men. And Bannock's got him lined up. He's sizing him up. I'm not sure if Bannock's waiting for him to stand up or if he's just... Oh, there he was. There's a belly to belly. belly. 
landed it hard look at him grabbing his back you know all of that weight both of them coming down hard and his back took the brunt of the impact ouch the winner that's is never a good thing Jamal somehow fighting to get back up. He was, yeah, I could just imagine getting thrown down like that. I would be down on the mat probably a little bit longer than, than uh, Jamal, but uh, yeah, somehow he worked his way back up. And it worked his way back oh. up and had enough left in him to do the flying clothesline. Uh, it looks like Jamal is a little guy, but he is not a little guy, and he's got a lot of force into those clotheslines. He just looks and little that's... compared to Bannock, but, I mean, that is a lot of man coming down through those flying clotheslines. He laid him out flat on that mat. Bannock is down. What is Jamal doing? Why isn't he covering the big man or at least working on something? You can't stand there and taunt. Not with a man that big. You've got to keep him down. Oh, he's bouncing. And there he goes. Time. He got caught yeah, coming off that rope. Move. Coming off that rope right into that size 32. Look at the size of that man. Size feet. something. I think those boots are size New Jersey. <laughs> and he got caught by it flush in the face. And now look, oh, he's oh, got him look up. at the strength. Oh. Look at the power. He is holding him up. Drops him down. Grabs With the, the leg. Van Hammer. One, we got a two, two and three. three. That's it, folks. Bannock Og. The man, the powerhouse, the renegade coming out and taking this one with a pin. Bannock Oh! Let's give it up for your winner, folks. Let's give it up for your winner. Excellent match. Excellent match. Make sure nobody steals them hot dogs before I get me one. Catch up only. Catch up only on that hot dog. Get over there and give me one. Bannock Og, your winner, folks. And I'm still not sure who he's aligned with. It's, I don't think he's part of Hollywood's... Uh, what did they call them again? Uh, I entourage. Doubt it. He's not a part of the entourage. entourage. Like, like that. No. Like Hollywood has some class. His little, his little hanger honors. They're gonna call him an entourage. Give me a break. Look. And Steve of course, Dyer, yeah. Steve Boston's in there trying to, trying to make sure that Jamal's all right. Well, yeah, you know, Steve's very pro ACW. He wants him uh, out selling some of those wieners. <laughs> well, that was a tough match there. Yeah, that was a tough match. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are not done. We are we not. Are we not promised you. Done. Two title matches tonight is what we promised. So far, we've only delivered on one. Oh, well, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. But first, we have got to pay some more ads. Is that right? We need, we need to pay the bills. Keep these lights on, huh? Yeah, speaking of, any of you fans willing to make a donation to help keep ACW running, we're doing this for each and every one of you. Uh, except for the assholes in the back that are only doing it for themselves, but we're not going to call out any names at all. I'm sure Hollywood and JW know who they are. So, right behind me, or right behind Mr. Wade, to be more specific, there is a donation box, so please, if you can, hit it up, donate anything you want, be it one Linden, two Linden, three Linden, whatever, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. Also, Every little bit be, helps, folks. Indeed. Also, if you want to become part of ACW, message anybody, everybody with an ACW tag on as long as they aren't trying a high-flying move at that point in time because they probably will be like, huh, what? Anyway, 
It will point you in the right direction. For the time is now for them to get to side be part of the future. With all that said, Wade, how you feeling? Man, I am excited. I can feel the electricity. The crowd knows what's coming. We've been looking at this coming on for the last four weeks. These two have been going at each other tooth and nail, and now it's here. Coming out now. Wow! I mean, this threw me way off guard. I, I, I was, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this at all. Um, nice music, though. Nice music, sir. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. I think from the depths of hell is where you would call it. The man that was forged in the fires of Hades. The demon. The, I don't even know what to, he's an enigma. From the hometown of Purgatory, weighing in at 263 pounds of solid demonic muscle at a height of six foot five inches tall, the demon himself, corrupt. And his opponent, the ACW wrestling champion who truly needs no introduction, folks. You all know him, you all love him. He is, without a doubt, the man you look to when you think of ACW wrestling, when you think of champions, when you think of those that you want to see wrestling, coming in at a solid seven feet tall. From Broken Bow, Oklahoma, the ACW World Champion, the man, the myth, the American dream, Voodoo, the bear, Cooper Stone. This is it, your ACW champion. This is your title fight. Corrupt and Cooper Stone. get any hotter than this. Oh my God, if you are not on the edge of your seat, you better get there. You can't miss this one. And they are starting. Krupp's already saying kiss that bell goodbye. Uh, Steve is trying to establish some kind of order here, but I don't These two know. men just want to get at each yeah, other. They I don't, don't know. Him in the way. Step back, Steve. Let them go. Let these two men sort this one out. It's been coming for a long time, folks. These two have been... It's, it's all. It's an itch you can't scratch. It's just there. They need it. They want it. They've both got to have it. They've got to show which one is the top dog in this arena. And here we go. Steve Boston giving them the rules. World title match. Asking if they're ready. All right, just waiting on the go-ahead, and we will have ourselves Look a title match. There it is! There's the bell. Look at the impressive man before you. He is gigantic. Bear Cooperstone. He is just... Oh! And normally, he would be standing head and shoulders over someone, but Corrupt is no slacker. I mean, oh, no. just look. So this is like two huge tanks punching it out here 
And you know, we saw it. We just saw it now. The bear pushing corrupt down, but corrupt was right back up. That didn't mean anything to him, so he may have stumbled. He may have got a little bit better leverage on him, but corrupt wasn't going to let it seem like he got pushed down like a child. He is back right up in the bear's face. They are locked up. The bear grabs him with an arm bar. He is working that arm, stretching that shoulder, hurting that elbow. He is twisting it. He is torquing it down. He is yanking every time. Corrupt stands up, Bear yanks him back down, and now it's a reversal, and yes, now Corrupt yes, is reversal. giving him as good as he got. Oh my God, they are not pausing, they are not waiting, folks, they are going right at each other. Non-stop action here on the ACW, Bear and, and Corrupt going at it, face-to-face, head-to-head, the Demon and the Bear getting at it, folks, and now he's got him in an arm bar, he's got it locked up behind him wrench it on that shoulder and bears growling about it and now corrupt yanks him over into a side headlock he is wrenching it tight the bears got it and he breaks it and now they're down on the ground and corrupt leaning over trying to wrench a little extra into that headlock he's got he's got the champ down he's got the champ down but uh steve's there checking i i Look at him, he's asking the champ, do you want to tap? What kind of silliness is that, Steve? Get out of the way! Get out of the way, Steve! Let these two men go at it. What are you doing? Get out of there! Get out of there! These two got something to prove to each other. You know, Steve Boston, fantastic. He is a fantastic referee, but sometimes he knows he needs no one to step the hell out and let these two men just go at it and sort it out themselves. They're still wrenching on that. They are still just trying to get each other. It, it's a show of force here, folks. It is an attempt to intimidate, to show who is stronger, who is the bigger badass in this ring right this moment. Yeah, with all that force that Corrupt is wrenching in on him, you, you see the bear, the champ's refusing. He's refusing to get to give up. And uh, oh, you're not Steve's trying, trying to say, it. yeah, he's trying to say, he said no, move on. And he stands up, powers out, wrenches him throws him into the ropes but no corrupt fires back with the huge look like a spinning lariat he, he, he put a little extra on that and that little extra means that the champ is down on the mat at this point in time he caught him solid with that spinning lariat coming off that rope and you know with the champ whipping him into that rope and him just springing right back out there was a whole lot of momentum under behind that Oh, and look, Corrupt's not done. He is firing back, forth, left, right, all damn day. But no, Corrupt and now he's whipping the back. up into the ropes. Is that it? Is he gonna go? Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Corrupt was not oh, ready for that so one. He funny. thought he had the champ. Oh, he thought he had the champion. He was going to lay him out. And it turns out, Corrupt got caught by that huge arm. That giant python of an arm. Folks, you want to see an anaconda, you come here. Look at this man's arms. And that just caught Corrupt square across his throat. Pure power. These two oh, are showing and, nothing but pure was, power. And uh, Corrupt is shaking it off. Just stand up, uh... But the bear's coming after him again. Nailed him, laying down. Caught him the with bear came bit. back with his yeah. own spinning lariat. He wanted to show Corrupt that Corrupt was not the only one that had that move. He wanted to let Corrupt know he could do it and do it better. And now the bear's taunting him. The bear's taunting Corrupt. Come on, dude. Come on. got the man down but no he just sits up I don't think he really wants to taunt him and he's just gonna sit up on you like that you know I, I 
I've been watching these matches and I've been enjoying these matches. I tell you what, I am glad I'm sitting back here on this table. I don't want either one of these two men hitting me. Look at them. They are just monsters. Coming back off the ropes. Looks like he was going for something, but he, he missed. He's a little bit frustrated that he missed, but he's uh, he's trying, trying to uh, size him up for something else at the moment. Look at the power of these two men. Look at the pure strength in both of them. And now those big yeah. chops. Those yeah. big chops coming across that chest. And there was a knee to the stomach. Look at him. Corrupt is taking it to him. Corrupt is not backing down. Corrupt has nothing but contempt for our current champion. And he's showing it. He is slapping him around like it's his pimp hand. Oh! He is slapping him around like he's a pimp and bear came up short on his money. Folks, these two do not like each other. These two do not have any hurt feelings for each other. They just going at it. There is no love loss. And there it is. Bear with the giant foot square into Corrupt's face, knocking him down. The champ has him down, but every time the champ has tried to call him out, tried to say, get up, it's backfired because Corrupt has come back up, slugging it. This is, of course, this is your main event, so this is every bit of what you expect and more. And there was a big whip into that turnbuckle. The champ is across the ring. It looks like he's preparing to come on and do a big charge on him. He's eyeing him. He's catching his breath. Oklahoma Express coming in. Oh, but somehow it got derailed there. Corrupt put his shoulder in the last minute. Came around. He kicked him in the back of the head. Doubled him over. How did he do that? How did he avoid that Oklahoma Express? And now, Corrupt whipping him into the turnbuckle. And now, the challenger is the one in control of the match. Oh, look at Corrupt over there celebrating. Oh, and he's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's he's having gold dreams right about now. Well, he does have the champ reeling. He's got the champ breathing pretty hard. And you see that man start puffing like that, and huffing and puffing. Wow. He's eyeing him up. Look how intently he's staring at the champ. Just like at this point in time, he's looking at him going, I own you. But no, the big boo down. And look at the champ smartly taking a second to go ahead and get his breath. Go ahead and collect himself here. All right, the champ is and picking, he's picking him, up. him back up. What's he going to do with him? He is whipping him back into that turnbuckle. Corrupt slams hard into that turnbuckle. Like I said earlier, folks, they may be padded, but there's nothing but solid steel underneath that pad. And when you got that much weight, that much force coming into it, that thing is going to hurt. Oh, and what was that? Flipped all over. What what flipped what out of the corner. What happened? What was that? We got a one count. I didn't even see how that move worked. Well, he tried another Oklahoma Express and he got caught with a sunset flip by the challenger. He wants that title. Wow, that was incredible. That was that was a move. And you know the bear wasn't expecting it, but he was quick to come out of that. He only got a one count and the bear's telling him, no, you're not getting me that easy. Bear's putting his big old foot right in the bread basket. And then Couple bring it down left and right.
punching them back into the corner, shoving them into it. Look at him, he's setting him up on that top oh, rope. Oh no, no, he, he can't be thinking this. Didn't we you know just what? get this new fancy ring? That would be a lot of weight coming down on this ring if he's thinking it. Oh, he is. He is. Oh, huge suplex. Superplex From coming the top down. Rope. From that the top is rope. a lot of weight, a lot of height, and a lot of men down on the body, down on that what are we canvas in a hurry. Feet. In the air, 12 feet in the air, a full-on suplex down to the ring. The bear yeah. lays on him. It's got a couple the bear is going for two. the pin. Negative. No, we got Some. a two count. We got a two count. That's it. Steve Boston, the referee, After calling for two. He's calling for two. Bear's yelling at him. Damn it, Steve. Damn it. But it was two. Steve was right in there. How in the freaking hell? Did Karat find it in him to get kicked out? Kick out of that. And we got a streaker? We got a streaker. Why do we have it? Not that I'm complaining. Do you see her? But we got a streaker in the ring. We got a streaker. Hey, slow down, honey. We can't see anything. You're running that fast. Can we get some security to get her out of the ring, please? Oh, yeah, can we get security to pass her a landmark to uh, my place? Or <laughs> to my home? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what 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 I say. <laughs> I don't know where that where that came from. Anyway, but we we know where that went. <laughs> Back to the match, folks. There was a little excitement for you in case you were kind of bored. I don't know how you could be, but hey, I hope that woke you up. She had her lady parts just showing to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, back to the match. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was, a, I was a little late on that. I was, I couldn't see if that that was fully excited or not. But uh, <laughs> and uh, now the champ has got uh, got just got corrupt out on his feet with that vicious headbutt. You sound a little flustered there, Rock. Well, we, you know what we saw. Yeah. And lay it out. Lay it out. Let's get back to point here. The champ is feeling it. He says With this is over. Lay it out. This is over. Back. It's over? What? I didn't see the he count. He says, no, it's not a count, but he's thinking this okay. is over. He is ready. He is. No, he's calling for him to get up. Well, last time he was met with him just like sitting up out of nowhere. Look at him. He he's not done beating on the man. He is not done punishing the man. I guess I guess the bear is gonna make it so the man does not ever want to come back and challenge him hey, for he's himself. Up. He just sit up just like that. So, uh, yeah, luckily we have Camera Kitty, so the replay will be there if you want to um, check it out online uh, of the streaker in slow motion, frame by frame. <laughs> in all her glory. Corrupt is ringing back. He wants what this. Is, He's not done. Bear keeps telling him to get up. Bear keeps telling him to get up every time he does it. Backfires every and Corrupt time. ends up laying it into him. What is he thinking? I know he's a champion. I know he is a superior wrestler. However, he's got a hungry, hungry man in there. One that is after his belt. And there it was. You know, one of the classic wrestling moves, folks. The snapmare. Something that always takes the wind out of you real quick. And Bear laid it on corrupt with perfection. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 Can you tell oh. me the champ is filming it now? Can you tell me the champ is thinking this is over? Is my back broken? Can you see, Rock? Is my back broken? Because I felt that all the way over here. He laid that on him oh, and look at him. And he's, he just there he goes. Across. One, two. No, no, no. The bear didn't even bother one, to grab uh, a leg. He thought he had that one wrapped up. 
he thought that was it after that move. The bear didn't even bother to grab a leg on that one. I can't imagine how corrupt is going to get up after that. Oh, he's looks well. Like he's evidently, gonna the bear's going to help him up. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> going to help him up. Hopefully, this doesn't backfire on the champ as it has about well, five this time times this match. <laughs> about five times this match, calling him out or um, I don't know, opening up has backfired on him. But uh, now he's uh, it looks like he's considering maybe moving him over to the side or something just away from the ropes but no no he's rolled up one two oh almost you know what corrupt almost. damn near got that he damn near got that he caught the bear off guard he did a roll up pin and damn near got it he almost got it we almost had a new champion folks corrupt is not so far out that he can't pull a move like that And he's not and done. Again. He's not done. And he's, again, he's the bear up. is yelling. He says, come on, but now Corrupt is, is answering the call up to his feet. But he's winning it. He's taking a knee. And the champ's rocking him with a fist. And look at those arms. You know that fist hits hard. Oh, that's a forearm. It's, it's like being hit with a sledgehammer right there on the side of your head. And sending him into the ropes. He's coming back. Tilt a world backbreaker. Again! Two yeah. of them! Yeah, Steve, I, th I thought that was a little close fist for a second, but he's got him down. One, two! No, Somehow. he got that shoulder up again! Somehow! Wow! And the bear, uh, you can hear the frustration in his voice. You can uh, hear the annoyance with this man who keeps fighting back. Who has turned the tide every time the Bears gotten him up? I, I I have no words at this point, but yeah, of course I do. What in the actual hell is going on? Every time we think it's over, somehow corrupt is a way to kick out, get back up, and get back into this. So I I don't know. I don't know. He's Can I say something? Now. Bigger than that? Can I say something nastier than that? As okay, far as well, there you go. What the actual, I don't know. Anyway. The German suplex. Su German the suplex. German is, suplex. Another but, finishing move. And he's got him up. He's, he's not done. He's going for another one. Oh, a second German suplex. A second finishing move. A punishing is it, thing. Is it, and the bear is, is picking him up again. For That's a it. third one. Three he got, arrow, Three German That's suplexes. It. The champ got the headband trick in. One, two, and he and again, 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 again. Are you it's freaking not possible. kidding me? It is uh, not possible. It, how is possible. he doing this? It's possible. We're seeing it. It's right there in front of us. I mean, how is it not possible? But uh, how he's doing it? Uh, Wow, that's, 13 uh, more German suplexes to go. That's that's it. That's what we want to see right there. <laughs> yeah, we need. Folks, um, this is unbelievable. The the strength that is being shown, the absolute desire to win from corrupt. He uh, wants that belt. It is nothing but pure hunger and desire driving him right now because he's got nothing left in the tank. I've got a million words running through my head right now, but unfortunately with this show being what it is, I can only say about two or three of them. What the hell? And there it was. There it is. Corrupt, sweeping the legs. He's got him. Throwing him over. He is locking it He's in. He's going for a submission hold. He is reaching down on that knee. The champ is way off, far away from the ropes. He's got a mile to go. There is not... Oh, this is looking dark. Maybe we are seeing the dawning right now here of a new they champion. Knew. Yeah, but no, somehow he's trying to fight his way to the ropes. 
Look, Steve is asking him, do you want to tap? Do you want to tap? And Corrupt is laying that on him. He is twisting that knee. He is driving that in there, and the bear is pulling him. The bear is reaching for the rope. And no, Corrupt no, 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 gets dangerous. him back. But Corrupt may have yanked him back Dang, a little oh, too far. Wow. No, Maybe the, a little too far. But there was no such thing as too far to him. And now it's got him... Uh, way back into uh, hell and gone to go from this and he is wrenching it back right now what's he is he on the rope is he on the rope has he got his foot on the rope come on ref look at the rope look at the rope ref look at the rope break it up break it up I don't know who that. I think the ref is counting yeah, corrupt, yeah. making yeah, him let go, is, is, making him is. break it. Okay, break. okay. And now that knee of the big man is hurt. Yeah, it is the hurt. Damage, the fact that he stayed in that so long. The damage has been done. Damage has been done, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, now the question remains: Can the champ just spring back up like a corrupt has been so many times? He ain't springing nowhere on that knee right now. And look, corrupt is right back at it. it. Corrupt is right on it again, again Punishing. on that knee. And he's not done. He's going. He's saying, "Remember those three German suplexes? Well, I got That's three of it. my own to uh, do this." You know, we say it so many times. The best way to take a big man down is take his legs out from under him. And right now, that is what Corrupt is doing. That's exactly he what he's making doing. This that is a leg. little bit of a payback from those three German suplexes. He's lining his leg up for maybe a third. I wouldn't be surprised he went for the figure four leg lock here. Put all that pressure on that knee. Get the tap. Well, he's looking down at the leg with some dropping an elbow down on that leg, and uh, corrupt's not done. Corrupt is not done. Oh, bringing oh. back a DDT, hyper extending the leg. That has got to hurt the big man's leg. The champ is feeling that. The champ is feeling that. He's got nothing left in that leg. He can't stand on that. Uh, yeah, this is... He's going to have uh, to take this to the mat. He's going to have to take... Corrupt has taken his leg out, so the Bear's going to have to keep his leg out of the whole match and make it not an issue. He's going to have to bring Corrupt down to the uh, mat. Corrupt is sitting for the end, and, and I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, you know... I hate to say it, as much as uh, as much as I like the champ, uh, it, the only exception I could see is maybe Corrupt getting himself disqualified at this point to really get into it, or really keep his belt, but I don't think he's at... No. Oh! oh. Ow! With the pile driver! With the pile driver! All of that weight, all of that power being slammed down onto the back of his neck. Folks, that's I don't know smart. how your champ is going to get up from this. That's smart. He's got no legs, and now he's dazed. He is, he is a rag doll on the mat. He's got no strength in that left leg. His neck has just been jammed into his butt. I don't even... And now, for the second time, he's wrapping it up. And he's looking for a submission. Corrupt doesn't want the pen anymore. He wants the champ to submit. He wants the champ to cry uncle. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can really see it now because that has been punished. The legs have been punished. I mean, this is, this is the point where you say, Bear, you've been a great champion, but think about it. 
think about it. I mean, you can get the title back. Don't blow your leg over it. And unfortunately, he's tapping. He's tapping. He rings the bell. Corrupt, corrupt. We have a new champion. We have a new ACW champion, folks. Corrupt has come up. He has beaten the bear. He has taken the gold with a tap out. He forced the champion to tap. We are now going to see a new champion crown. The belt goes to Corrupt. Yeah, it was that point that uh, Bear did what he had to do. I mean, you know, you, you, you lose a belt once. Oh, look. Don't, don't, don't lose your leg. Nice. Tornadoes in my area. Yay! I love it. Come to Texas, folks. The Bear is going out. Corrupt is there. He wants the belt. He has taken the belt from Voodoo. He has taken the belt from the champ. Folks, we are seeing history in the making. He has now taken the world title. We now present you the newest ACW World Wrestling title champion, the demon, the evil one, Corrupt. Unbelievable, Rock. Unbelievable. Can you believe what you just saw there? Uh, unfortunately, I can. Unfortunately, I can. Corrupt came out, played a smart match. A smart textbook match. And he came away the victor. And uh, Bear did what he had to do at that point in time or he was gone you know bear had so many opportunities to put it away and he kept well, taunting corrupt he kept well, calling for him to get another week. he had too many opportunities and he didn't take them well one way or another ladies and gentlemen we have got a new world heavyweight champion here and his name is corrupt ladies and gentlemen we'd like to thank you for coming out tonight to apex championship wrestling sabotage I am the high flying little left rock Constantine on oh, guest commentary. I am your ever happy commentator, Wade. And folks, please do. If you've got a little to spare, go ahead and give it to us. Help you help us keep this going. Help us keep this place open. We love the lights. We need lights, and, and we like you to help us pay for them, folks. And we will see y'all each and every Tuesday at 5 p.m. SLT here at Apex Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all thank for you coming so out tonight. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Hey, Rock, did you see my hammer? Did you see my hammer? <laughs> I got a hammer. Hammer time. Avina gave me a hammer. I bet you wish you had a hammer, Rock. Apex Championship Wrestling now moving. Apex Championship Wrestling now moving. Moving. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions, and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, 
and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.